Joe from Farland. I set about this week to start working on the farm, which goes uh, right there. But I realized as I started working on it that since I want a I wanted a crossover to go back in here. If I didn't put the crossover in first, I wouldn't be able to get to it once the farm was in without tearing the farm out. So I thought, well, I better, better get it in. So that's the crossover and here's the control panel. That's not bad. So this allows me to come off the freight line and get on the down main and of course this will be uh, a trailing point for the down main so it uh, should be easy for it to get over and not cause any trouble not that it would anyway but if it's trailing they cause a lot less trouble than uh, if they're leading into it so that's done works. Now I can get started on the farm. We're over here on the other side now. So there's a window right here. It's a pretty good size. It's about four feet square. And the sill is about, uh, oh, it's around 12, 13 inches wide. Not bad. Pretty good sized. Well, this turnout right here, right there, for some reason the blade came loose. The one on this side towards the camera. It completely came off. Well, I squeezed down in this little area as far as I could, but I could not see it. And I was certain that I could fix it if I could see it. So I thought, oh, well, I can climb out there. I'll uh, climb on the table and put a foot here and put a foot there and put a foot there and I'll get over there and uh, I did and I was able to move all this stuff out of the way and I actually got my legs underneath this part of the bench so that I could sit there and work on that turnout well I fixed it hurrah you know that's good well, I, I backed out and got my legs back out from under there. I moved this stuff over here so that it was out of the way. In fact, I think I, think I set it up on the, on the bench. Well, I got turned around up in there. I couldn't stand up. I didn't have leverage to stand up. I was stuck. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know. Because I'm 70 years old, you know, I'm not as strong as I was once. And uh, I thought, well, it's only four hours till my wife gets home. And she's uh, a lot stronger than I am. She can get up there and give me that lift to get me that first two inches of getting up. And then I can stand up and get back over here. So I started to make myself comfortable. And I was sitting there and... Uh, then I thought, well, what do I have to go to the bathroom? What if I have to go to the loo or the toilet? What am I going to do then? I certainly don't want to wet my pants or something. So that got me worried, and I, I kept thinking. And then I realized, hey, there's a window right here. So I was finally able to get out the window crawl up the fire escape out of the hole here and get get back but I couldn't get the screen back in so that's just sitting out there but I thought you know if I ever have to get back in here 
And I've got some blinds coming and I think I'm going to put them over here. I just bought one. There's two windows. I'd like to put blinds in both. But uh, I think I'll put the first one over here. So if I ever need to get back in here again, the, the screen is off and I can open the window from over here with a long stick. And because uh, it's locked right now. And come in through the window. But I'll tell you what, I was stuck over there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Oh my, I got myself into it this time, didn't I? <laughs> but, uh, no, cooler heads prevailed and I, I escaped out the window, up the fire escape, and came in through our front door and, and uh, was saved. I didn't realize the blades on these uh, turnouts, these uh, points, were so delicate in there. This board was pretty wobbly that forms the, that fills that area in. So I put a stiffener on it. It runs across there. And now it's pretty stiff. You could probably break the glue bond, but okay, well after that we're ready to get back on the farm. I had gotten as far as laying out the level lines across this. You probably can't see them, but they're pencil marks, but there's a level line across there. In other words, if I put the level on there, it would be level across that. So, level is about like that when it's all glued down. And it changes as it goes down. The sheet sort of fans out, actually. So I'll be following those, uh, following those level lines as I put the foundations in for the buildings. Here's what I've been doing since we last talked. I took wood strips and I built up what effectively is a foundation under each of the buildings until they were level. Then I took my favorite dab, drywall mud, only it's uh, a lot faster drying than regular wallboard mud. And um, I sloped it away from each one, keeping in mind, or particularly in mind, places where there's an exit. Where, for instance, the machinery shed where you would drive machinery in and out and exits to buildings. They were all marked. That's covered up now, but, and I hope I got it all right, but I tried to build it up so that it gave a, a ramp coming out of all the doors and things. Openings, you know, like the barn, machinery shed. It's hard to really see it because it's white. I'll show you one which is pretty easy to see. This is the little house that um, the hired help lives in. And it will sit like this.
with a slope down from the front door and the back door and this door over here too. Well actually I guess I didn't do that one. I can do it later. This is quite enough of this uh, for now. I also uh, leveled out the road which runs from here Oops. around over to there. It's, it's going to go farther, but I just, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here yet. So uh, we'll just let it stop there. So I think I have foundations laid out for all the farm buildings. If I forgot one, not a problem. I could make it up. I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to work before I go too far. If it shrinks and cracks a lot, well, then I got a problem. But uh, that's where I am now. I think I'm going to run some drains. I kind of like to do that.